So I promised y'all a decluttering series and it's something I really need to do. So throughout September, I'm gonna be sharing decluttering videos. But look at all this extra space. There is gonna be a decluttering video of all the spaces in my house that I need to declutter. So let's go ahead and get started. here my name is Marie I'm a stay-at-home mom from Georgia of four kids and here on this channel you're gonna find all things motherhood and homemaking content so if you enjoy my channel make sure you're subscribed if you want to be for weekly videos I'm scared to show y'all how many cups we have why someone tell me why but these are gonna be hard to part with honestly because I love all of them Captain Crunch ball anyone no I can't promise that the top of my fridge is gonna look any better than that because that's where I have to store my appliances since we do live in a small home so this is the kids cabinet not too bad because all of their dishes are in the dishwasher but this is where I keep all the kids sippy cups and plates our plate saucers dessert dishes my casserole dish and some plasticware I'm so embarrassed. This is our silverware drawer. This is my junk drawer. This is my flat pans, like my muffin tins and baking tins. And my hand towels, that will not come out because there are too many. Baby bibs, lunch box, water bottles, snack and formula dispensers, and suction bowls that don't work. And under here are all of my glorious pots and pans, and that does not belong there. Y'all, I have one cabinet for all my pots and pans. Give me a break. This is my ice maker. I love her. She makes me the perfect Chick-fil-A ice. But sadly, we're probably going to have to store this out in our building until we move. We have a different space, a bigger space, more cabinet space or something. Sadly, I'm going to have to say goodbye to my amazing ice maker. And this is a part of decluttering. We have to let go. The things that I absolutely 100% love, 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 I'm going to try to keep. But at the same time, I need to declutter to minimalize. And I would show you this side of the sink, but <laughs> there is severe water damage under here. The under cabinet is like sunken in, but it is clean. I have this over the cabinet container that I love. I keep my most used cleaning products in here. I bought this recently and stored all of my cleaning products in it. There are some bags on top. Do I want to do this? No. Do I need to do this? Yes. So we're going to do it. Whatever I pull out of my cabinets today, we're just going to yeet this laundry basket away with it because why not? ants on my counter having a party. So we have been dealing with ants on the counter. It's been very annoying. I thought we got rid of them. Eric sprays outside for insects. Every couple of months he goes out there and sprays. So I've been really staying on top of keeping my kitchen clean and pushing myself to clean it before I go to sleep. Sometimes I'll even get out of the shower and remember that I didn't do the dishes and I literally will come in here and load up the dishwasher in my towel. That's how determined I am to not have ants on my counter. <laughs> I'm coming up with for my toaster in the cabinet involves putting a paper towel underneath my toaster if you guys have any better solutions for crumbs that fall out of your toaster please let me know this is a chicken wire container that I got from Walmart this is where I just keep all of my lids I try to keep all the larger lids in the back and the smaller lids in the front and then over here is where I keep all of my strainers and then this is gonna be like just clear bowls and in my last cabinet, I have some glass bowls, my serving trays, my metal bowls. There are more bowls inside of here. And then our Kool-Aid pitcher. And my next cabinet is all of the unnecessary cups. I have to get rid of my cups. Keeping. Definitely keeping. 
Well, I found the lid to that one. I've been using this one without the lid because I lost it. Definitely keeping our fall mugs. So I was gonna declutter this one. I actually had this one in a pile to get rid of, but then I thought of Adeline. And she eats milk and cookies out of little cute mugs too. So I'm saving this one specifically for Adeline. I mean, do we really love it? Do we? Keeping. This is one of my new ones for Halloween. It says Magic Potion. Keeping. Y'all, how could I ever get rid of these cups? They have straws. I love these cups so much. I know y'all seen these bubble glasses. I always get compliments on these bubble glasses. I got these at the Dollar General several years ago and I cannot find them anymore. Addy drinks out of these blue cups. I guess we can get rid of this one. It says Super Mom. I really love it, but I mean, it's all dinged up. So this is another one of Addie's mugs that she drinks milk and cookies in. It says it's corny how much I love you. Like why are these even in here? Nobody even uses these. Can we just talk about my husband's obsession with stainless steel mugs? Oh look and he has another. Eric insists on keeping this contraption because he likes to slice up his cilantro in this so we have to keep that. This is my ninja. I used it one time. More cups. Oh, look at this a beautiful creation that has never been used. Oh, and we also have some spoons. Y'all, I'm in trouble. So I don't like to get rid of Eric's stuff without asking him first. These are the coffee cups and all of our cups that I'm keeping. And these are the three that I'm decluttering. But let's be honest, like a girl just loves her mugs, right? This one's Addie's. These are our bubble glasses. And some of these are just like fall. Like these are the fall and Halloween mugs that are gonna be put away after the fall and Halloween season season. So it's actually not bad at all you guys. So there was cups overflowing up here, cups overflowing down here. Over there in the corner I have my Ninja. I put two stainless steel thermoses in here for Eric. These are Addie's cups. The unicorn cup is Addie's. I have two thermoses, a coffee mug, and three bubble glasses. And I'm also going to be putting my holiday mugs up here. So up here on the top shelf, I just have my holiday mugs, two measuring cups, and in the back we have a large blender and a small blender. And I also have one of my holiday mugs in my Keurig. I just like to keep one sitting there. It just makes it look really decorative and homey. Next are the good old lids. So no decluttering of my glasses or my lids. This is my pots and pans set. I actually have this set and then this is a whole set. So I'm not going to be getting rid of my pots and pans. I did wipe this down. These cabinets are just in horrible condition. These don't stack very well, but that's just the way that I store them in here. And then up here, I think I kept it very minimal. Next up is the cabinet that includes all of our plates and our bowls and our dessert dishes, my casserole dish and some more plasticware. I really want to keep all of my plasticware together. And I also have a bottle warmer up there that I never use. So I say I want to keep all of my plasticware and all of my glass and all like things together but with having such a small space it's really hard to do that and sometimes you just have to fit things in the spaces that they fit. So unfortunately I'm not able to keep all of my plastics in the same area and all of my like things in the same area so this is just what works for us. So on the top shelf, I'm going to be storing my casserole dishes. I have two of these casserole dishes from Walmart. They match my plates and my bowls, and I love this polka dot set. And then inside the casserole dishes, I just have these plastic bowls. This is where I just keep the large bowl, and I put any smaller plastic bowls inside of it. All of these also have lids so we can store food in those. My plates are also very minimal. I just have one cute white porcelain serving dish, my regular plates, and then a few plastic dishes on top. These blue plates are from Target. They have all different colors. They're super cheap and I mostly got these for Adeline. I have four saucers. I also have four bowls but there's two in the dishwasher. And I'm going to be keeping these. You can actually bake with these in the oven. You can cook little desserts in them, but we usually use them as like little ice cream and dessert bowls. So my bowls and plates cabinet was already pretty minimal as well. I kept everything in here and just organized it a bit better. So this is what I have to declutter so far. My drawers are a lot worse than my cabinet, so I wanted to do those last. 
So for the kids cabinet, Bella and Nolan have been using these plastic cups. I got these from Target. They just have little straws and lids. But when we go somewhere, they can't use these in the car because if the lid pops off or they drop them, they're going to spill in our car and we don't want spilled drinks in our car. So up here is all of their cups that I have for them for when we leave. I also have Jackson's sippy cups in here that I bought that he doesn't use yet. So we're probably going to store these away in the nursery. Okay, so this is the way I was able to get all of their cups to actually fit. I'm not going to put the lids in here because that's just an accident waiting to happen. I can just imagine the lids getting flipped over and mixed up all in here. So I have their straw cups here. I had to flip one right side up to make it fit. But I was able to fit all of their to-go cups. These are cups that we use when we go somewhere. These are cups we use at home. I'm going to be using this smaller container for something. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the lids in here. I'm going to see if I can fit them in my drawer below. So I'm going to be keeping four of these plates. I use these for all three of the kids for dinner. I also have this unicorn plate that my mom bought for Arabella. I want to get Nolan one just so he'll have one too. But these are from Walmart. I get their stackable section plates from Target. I love these. They stack really nicely. And I've thought about getting rid of these. But these are actually really perfect for cereal. But they're all scratched up and dinged up. So I may just go ahead and get rid of these. But you can put cereal in these. Use them like a bowl. And then put some fruit in here. And they're so perfect for that. And then add Madeline eats cereal out of these bowls, so we have to keep these for her. So this is all of the plasticware I have, and these are just leftover from parties. So I'm going to go ahead and store the forks and the spoons up here where the kids' dishes go over here. There's this big gap right here between the cabinets where I can store stuff. And then what I decluttered from their cabinet is these two plates and this blue plate. So I reused this basket and repurposed it to be more useful. So I put the forks and the spoons and some plastic cups in here. So I have this big space between the cabinets. I'm going to be storing all of that. So over here, I have the plasticware in the cups. I have the kids' bowls right here. There are more bowls in the dishwasher. There's like smaller bowls that are these brand for Bella and Nolan that I'm gonna just put inside of these bowls. And then I have all these plates stacked up. Those are the kids' dinner plates. Also, I decluttered out my cup cabinet a little bit more. So I decided to move Adeline's cups over here so she doesn't even have to go over there. She doesn't use the unicorn cup as much as the blue cups. So we're gonna put the unicorn cup in the back and then her blue cups to the front. Up top, I have this basket of all of Bella and Nolan's cups. Their straws and lids are gonna be stored down in the cabinet. And then over here in the corner is some blue cups that I'm gonna be using for Jackson's first birthday party, so stay tuned for that. I'm honestly so relieved to have my cabinets done. Those were simple. I knew that they weren't gonna be that bad. Down here, it's probably gonna be a little bit worse, but I am really good at trying to keep everything minimal. I have decluttered over time. My tip to declutter fast is to declutter often. So this is Jackson's baby food drawer, and I feel like it's so random because it has the Kool-Aid container in there, and then these are for my Keurig to put coffee in. put the fruits on this side, the meats in the middle, and the vegetables on this side so I know what I'm grabbing when I want something. He does not like these. These are the beef and vegetable meal time for baby. He like gags on this. He does not like it. This is where I'm going to keep our Kool-Aid and then this is my extra K-cup filters. And then this is just more space for more baby food. I don't want to just throw these baby foods away, so maybe someone else can use them. Next up is the silverware drawer. So I don't have a knife holder, so the knives have to stay in here. My scissors stay in here. These are the lids to Jackson's bottles for whenever we leave the house. I always put a lid on the bottle. So for all of my drawers, it's going to take some moving some things around probably to get it how I like it. So I'm going to go through all my drawers and see what I can move around and how I can declutter and organize it. You hear them call.
this is everything I pulled out of the drawer. Just a bunch of junk. A lot of this is Eric's. I don't know what that is. So all of his stuff, I'm going to set it aside. I do not declutter his stuff without asking him first. But there's lots of these zip ties laying around. I never use this balloon pump. I prefer an electric balloon pump. So nobody ever really uses this. So I'm going to ask Eric if he wants that. This is, I guess, a handheld cheese grater that we never use. I don't even know what this weapon is. And then all of these strings are for a balloon garland. So you put the tails of the balloons in here and you can make a balloon garland. So I'm going to store all of this in a Ziploc bag. And you're stronger, much stronger than they will ever be. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are, just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? No matter what the scars, no matter what they say, and we'll shout it out. So I have the balloon pump a bunch of whatnots for Eric and then this is for my balloon garland I have no idea how to store my essential oils I haven't found a place for these yet this is the decluttered silverware drawer it looks so much better y'all this is the junk drawer I ended up putting the straws and the lids in here I didn't want to put them in different drawers that way you don't have to open up two different drawers to get the straws and the lids this is our aluminum foil this is parts to my mixer and then a pizza cutter some muffin liners and this is for a piping bag and then this is all of my measuring cups over here i have bottle lids and then this is pretty empty so i may be able to store my essential oils here i'm not sure where i want to keep my cleaning rags but i don't like to shove them in here i was like keeping them right here but i love how this looks just so simple and minimal so I just have my muffin tins, my cake plate, my pans here, and then all of our hand towels here for the kitchen. And then down here is still a hot mess. And the final drawer turned out this way. So I have this clear acrylic container that I'm going to be putting my cleaning rags in. I have three water bottles here, Arabella's lunchbox container, and then this container has all of the baby stuff. So these are little snack containers. I use these for Bella and Nolan, but they don't really use these anymore. I just use them to put like puffs and yogurt melts in. So I'm saving those for Jackson. And then this is his silicone feeding bibs. So now I just have this cake plate. I recently did an under the sink organization in the kids bathroom and in here in one of my recent videos. So underneath my sink is cleaned out. So I'm gonna store this on the right side where I can't open it, where the cabinet won't allow me to open it. extra space we've gotten. Taking the ice maker off makes the counter space look so much bigger. I'm sad, but look at this counter space. This is everything that I was able to declutter out of my kitchen, excluding the ice maker. I am getting that out of my kitchen as well. the cute 
Kroger finds that I found at Kroger. So everything in this haul is going to be cute, but it's also going to be useful. It's going to be for the kids' lunches, breakfast, or their lunch boxes. So these are basically sprinkled popcorn. They're called fancy popcorn. So I thought these would be good to put in the girls' lunch boxes and the kids to have for snacks. So I always get the kids a yogurt covered raisins and I always just get the vanilla, but this one has strawberry and vanilla. So there's little pink and white yogurts in here. This is the Riptide Rush Purple Gatorade. So I thought these would be perfect for Adeline's lunch boxes. And then I also got this one. It's strawberry kiwi. It's a pink Gatorade. I thought it was so pretty. And this is so cute. I got this for Arabella's lunch box. It's pepperoni, cheese, and dried mangoes. This is the cutest little Lunchable packaging. And how stinking cute is this? These are goldfish, but they're vanilla cupcake flavored. And then I like to change the kids' snacks up in the fridge. So I wanted to get pudding this week. And so I got these unicorn magic puddings. They're pink and blue. And I got two of those because we go through these really fast. These say they're made with stardust. And it has unicorn tattoos inside. How cute is that? These are for the girls' lunch boxes. They are smoothie melts. They are just banana and strawberry melt. So I got one for Addie's lunch box and one for Bella's. And it also says you can give it to a baby that's 12 months and up. So Jackson can eat these when he's one. Pink Kool-Aid is cute, right? So we got a pack of five Kool-Aids that are pink lemonade. For some cereal, I found this Mom's Best Toasted Cinnamon Squares. They're sweetened whole wheat and rice cereal with cinnamon. But I just thought this box was adorable with all the little animals and the little baby koala. I've shared these before. So I got these yogurt tubes. I got two boxes of them. They are the unicorn and mermaid yogurt. So there's four mermaid cotton candy and four unicorn cake batter. I also picked up these to go in the girls lunch boxes or for Nolan to eat during the day. There's 12 bars in here. It has a cute little rainbow in the corner. It says they're layered fruit bars made with real fruit, purees, and juices, raspberry lemonade flavored. So I got some regular yogurt and some frozen yogurt. I just thought this packaging was so pretty. It's strawberry yogurt and then this is frozen strawberry yogurt. Strawberries and cream flavored and I got some cream cheese and strawberry toaster strudels for breakfast in the mornings. These are unicorn shaped macaroni and cheese cups. There's four cups in here. I usually buy just the regular basic craft kind but I thought these would be really fun for the kids. These actually include little stars and rainbows and unicorn shapes. These are perfect snacks or they can go in the lunch box but they are the fruit and veggie blend strips, strawberry and mango. I've bought these before and the kids really loved them. They are just fruit rolls. They're like a healthier version of regular fruit roll-ups, but these are apple, pear, and strawberry flavored. And these have no sugar added. They are unicorn toaster treats. So they're basically just pop tarts. They are cake flavored filling with frosting. But how cute is that? It's got like blue frosting on the inside. It also has six vitamins and minerals. These chewy yogurt bars are one that we buy regularly. Adeline really loves these. They have yogurt on the bottom and strawberries in the green granola. This packaging is so cute. They are granola minis. So they're just little balls of granola. How cute is that? And it says there's five packs in here so I can put these in the girls lunch boxes. These are the unicorn sprinkle surprise. It has fruits and veggies in this. It says it comes with six crispy treats. This is the prettiest gummies I've ever seen. They're called fruitella. They're just soft gummies and they have funny silly faces on them for the kids. And this is definitely a healthier option for gummies. So these are chickpea snacks. They are Himalayan pink salt. Look at this packaging. That is so pretty. It says for snacking and topping. And I also got these freeze-dried strawberries and bananas. They're healthy, no sugar added, and the packaging is so cute. For a dessert for after dinner, I got these unicorn sparkling strawberry snack cakes. These are so cute. So these are the Chef Bombay Meals and I love the packaging of these. They're both a really pretty pink color. This is the butter chicken and then this is the mini butter chicken. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but these boxes are so pretty. Nolan is the only one of my kids that likes broccoli. So I got him these broccoli littles. They're just little broccoli bites. It's a potato with broccoli inside. So these made it into the cute grocery haul just because they're star shaped. They're so cute. Oh, look how pretty these peaches are. They're called like white peaches, but they're like white and pink swirled. They were so pretty. So I got four of those. The packaging of these grape tomatoes is adorable. It looks like it's in a little crate. So I love these true fruit snacks and I love the packaging. So I wanted to include it in my cute grocery haul. This is the dark chocolate and raspberry. I included some pink salmon in this haul because this is the cutest little can of salmon I ever did see. It's a little pink can. And I also picked up some country time pink lemonade because this little container is so cute and the prettiest color pink. And also it turns your drink pink. For the kids, I got them some unicorn swirl ice cream. It's pink and blue. And 
then I also got them some unicorn mix of sprinkles. It's got little unicorns and all kind of colors so they can top their ice cream with some sprinkles. These are the peach and honey flavor. They are sparkling water cans. These are a prebiotic soda. This one is the flavor strawberry lemon. And this one is the flavor raspberry rose. These are for a healthier gut. And I also picked up this Olipop strawberry vanilla soda because it's sparkling tonic. It's a really pale pink color. And then last but not least, I picked up some ultra peachy keen monster energy because they are like a peachy pink color, my favorite color. And these are also really good. I hope you enjoyed my kitchen declutter and clean and organized video it feels so good to have that done make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to be for weekly motherhood and homemaking content and I'll see y'all in our next one Don't you know that you're just the way